What's up guys, Tide Super Clean here. So this video is going to be about basically Avicii again. So I was doing some research um, regarding Avicii and I just wanted to see if there was any more information about his passing. And apparently there is a conspiracy theory going around that Avicii tried to expose a pedophile ring before he died. And um, this is all over Facebook, all over Instagram, all over Twitter. Um, there's another DJ out there that's actually kind of helping to spread this um, conspiracy theory, so we'll go over that as well. So let's go ahead and check out the Snopes article that talks about this. Did Avicii try to expose a pedophile ring before he died? The title says, Yet another specious report from a fake news site that seems to have a fascination with pedophilia. So the claim is that Swedish-born producer DJ Avicii died under suspicious circumstances while he was trying to use music videos to expose a pedophile ring. On April 20th, 2018, um, Avicii passed away. So basically all of this is just kind of a rehash of um, the statements that the family and the press um, posted. But a few days later, the Neon Metal website published an article suggesting that Avicii's death <clears throat> was somehow connected to his supposed attempts to expose a pedophile ring. As the music world mourned the loss of Swedish DJ Avicii, who died at 28 years old last week, speculation to whether he was trying to expose a pedophile ring in his video for a better day has been gaining momentum. There has been no official report of his exact cause of death, but despite this, Avicii's death has a bunch of eerie similarities with the recent deaths of two other music legends. Chris Cornell and Chester Bennington. <clears throat> Excuse me. Avicii hinted at exposing a child trafficking ring in his video for a better day. The DJ has either stumbled on something that was too close to the truth of human trafficking, or he was planning a follow up on the second video with more information. Now, just to kind of piggyback on this, there's been reports that Avicii came across this um, person in Oman that had a child bride and supposedly he got really upset about it and that led to him uh, being dead the next day. I, that's just speculation. I, I couldn't find any actual evidence of this happening. Um, so getting back to the article. However, this reporting of Neon Nettles was a combination of misinformation and extremely questionable speculation. For starters, Neon Nettle attempts to draw parallels between the passing of Avicii and the deaths of Soundgarden frontman Chris Cornell and Linkin Park's Chester Bennington. In July 2017, two other musicians whom Neon Nettle asserts were allegedly working together to expose a pedophile ring operating in the music industry at the moment of their untimely deaths. However, this posted connection was nothing more than the fabricated story published by Your Newswire, Neon Nettle's partner in fake news crimes. Additionally, Avicii acknowledged at the time of its release that his 2015 music video for the song For a Better Day was intended to call attention to the issue of child trafficking, particularly in war-torn countries. It was not a quoted attempt to furtively expose a particular child trafficking ring. Leading DJ Avicii has turned his attention to fighting child trafficking as he made his debut as a director with a pair of disturbing videos. The Swedish house DJ, one of the biggest stars on the global club circuit, said he was hoping to use his music for a greater social cause. The promise of a better life often traps families and children into being used as tools for some of the most despicable people on earth, he said in a statement as he released the videos. It's an issue about which I hope to start a louder discussion, especially now with the huge number of families on the move from war-torn countries looking for safety and shelter. For a better day, which will appear on Avicii's upcoming album Stories, features a video full of unsettling imagery as hooded traffickers go on a killing spree of adults in their way, including a politician portrayed by actor Christer Her Henriksen. The video shows two children rushing through fields to escape, only to be forced barely clothed into a trafficker's car. Um, finally, just as the cases of Cornell and Bennington, the implication that Avicii was somehow done in to prevent his exposing a pedophile ring is unfounded. Although Avicii's cause of death has not yet been announced, he was known to have health problems and officials stated that two post-mortem examinations 
had been conducted, which confirmed that there is no criminal suspicion of death. Um, also, to piggyback on that, um, that theory about Avicii being taken out by uh, the guy with the child bride or whatever. Um, so there was reports that, uh, you know, there was a cover-up of his death. He was found um, hanging out with some people and drinking prior to his death and all that. And supposedly his body was found, or the reports are that his body was found in a farm belonging to um, a royal figure from that country. So there's kind of a lot of different news going around. Um, I'm not going to say whether my opinion is whether or not any of it's true until there's actual official reports on everything. Um, a later statement from his family strongly suggested Avicii had committed suicide. And the same statement that I've gone over before. The inaccuracy of Neon Freddles, Nettles reporting is not surprising. A Neon Nettle is a fake news site with a special fabrication for peddling fabricated and sensualized stories about pedophiles. So, I don't really like to use Snopes as a source for, <laughs> you know, um, the truth. Because they've actually been called out a lot in the past for having um, false information. But, in this aspect, I kind of agree, especially with um, fake news websites trying to go around stating this as fact. I honestly don't see it being truthful. I mean, I watched the documentary last night, and you can see how Avicii's health just kind of deteriorated at one point. <clears throat> then it got better. But you, you can see the parts, um, and I'm sure a lot of it is handpicked for the documentary. But you can see the parts where he starts to seem like he's really depressed and really sad and, you know, if he did take his life, that was sadly what happened. And I don't think there was any, you know, secret under underground pedophile rings that took him out or whatever. But to lead to the next part of this video, so DJ K Theory um, has been going around posting information about um, this news article or the information pertaining to this news article so let's go ahead and look at the next um, article which was posted by K-Theory and this could be found on your EDM they're gonna basically talk about what he said so K-Theory shares post claiming Avicii was murdered for trying to expose a pedophile ring so we have K-Theory, who seems to be feeding into conspiracy theory that Avicii was murdered for his hand in trying to expose a pedophile ring. That theory holds that Chris Cornell and Chester Bennington were apparently murdered for the same reason, which goes back to the Snopes article. Um, Avicii was murdered, posted K-Theory. I knew there was something sus about his death, and this breaks my heart. The news is saying this is fake news, but I know there is truth to this in my heart. The world is a lot scarier than any of us want to admit. But it is time for us to wake out of the matrix and realize what is going on, especially in the music industry. K-Theory goes even deeper into the rabbit hole in the comments with gems like, They already got you if you are fighting for their agenda online. If Avicii was not murdered by hand, he was murdered by the industry, run by evil people that are linked to pedophilia. If you are attacking a news source that is trying to out the pedophile, sex trafficking, and human trafficking around the world, you need to question whose side you are on. All three deaths do not make sense. The claims are real. The industry elite love doing evil things to children. It's well documented. It goes on and on. While we'd love for there to be some deeper meaning to Avicii's passing, though not necessarily something so insidious, the truth is likely far more mundane. Occam's razor applies. As for K-Theory, we suggest he stop during the Kool-Aid and come back to reality for a li little breather. I totally agree with this, um, your EDM article. I don't think it's anything deeper than the fact that he just um, apparently committed suicide and such. And I, I understand why people are trying to find more news about it. You know, a lot of people can't just accept the reality sometimes. And, you know, they try to dig deeper to see if there's anything leading to his death. And I don't particularly agree. I find it honestly kind of insulting to the family constantly bring up stuff like this that has nothing to do with his death, in my opinion. You know, I could be totally wrong and something could happen in the future and maybe K-Theory is right. 
And if he's right, props to him. But my personal opinion is that there is no conspiracy theory. So let's go ahead and look at Cape Theory's um, Facebook page. So, as he states, Avicii was murdered. I know there was something sus about his death. Uh, pretty much just a rehash of what he said in the Your EM article. Um, so basically, K Theory. Sorry, guys, my puppy needs to go outside. So, um, basically, K Theory states his opinions, and that's fine. You know, it's his Facebook page. He can post whatever he wants. If you're interested in seeing what he has to say, just look him up on Facebook. Um, you know, it's his opinion. Don't flame the guy. You know, if he wants to think that way, then so be it. Um, but, you know, in summary, I really don't think that there is a pedophile ring. And I don't, I don't think it's anything more than just, you know, Avic just passing away. And I don't think that there is anything else to it, you know? But like I said, if I'm proven wrong, I'll make a video and I'll own up to it. But that is my opinion. Let me know your comments, your thoughts on this um, video. I just, I'm really interested in seeing if people actually, you know, think the conspiracy theory is true or not. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, like my video if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you can see all the updates for my future videos. And also follow me on any of my social media websites. I got a Twitter, I have an Instagram, I have a Facebook, SoundCloud. Um, I have a Tune profile. Tune is a brand new social media music sharing website. Pretty much similar to Mixcloud and SoundCloud. But the difference is, is that you get paid for your music. So go ahead and check out that link down below and make sure you sign up for that website, it's really cool. Uh, thanks for watching guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you check out my future videos. Thanks for watching guys, aloha.